Hey Kate lovers, yes I'm back. I had a little bit of a break but I'm back now. So today I am reviewing the Marks and Spencer Ultimate Afternoon Tea Selection which is um, as a box of afternoon tea goodies that you can buy online. I'm going to get to the po one of the points. There's no savouries in this afternoon tea which I will talk about at the end but I'm now, let's go and actually taste the goodies okay so first up is the victoria sponge your classic vanilla layers with um, jam and buttercream now the victoria sponge the actual taste of it wasn't too bad but it did have a bit of an oily texture and my sister tried it as well and she thought the same but i'm wondering if it's because the expiry date was actually the next day that might have had something to do with it so yeah it did taste a little bit oily but in general, the taste of it was actually okay. It was quite good. Next up are the cherry bakewell tarts. I do love a cherry bakewell tart with the almond and the cherry combination. The taste of these were, were was <laughs> nice. But the pastry was dry. It was very sort of crumbly. And I think these tarts, I think they were a little bit overdone anyway. Um, but the taste of it was okay, but the, yeah, it was just a little bit dry for me. Next up is the strawberry and clotted cream sponge roll. Um, I quite like this one. Um, yeah, again though, the sponge was a little bit dry and the jam, there was a little bit of a funny aftertaste, like a bit of a sweetener aftertaste. But the clotted cream in there kind of made up for it. Um, but yeah, I think I like this better than the Victoria sponge. But it still wasn't like brilliant. It was okay. Next up are the Viennese milk chocolate dipped fingers. Now, these are classic and they're really, really nice. Really buttery. That's what I'm doing here. I'm trying to be artistic. Um, I like these, obviously because it was a hot day, the chocolate was a little bit, sort of, bit, bit melty, but I love, I love Viennese fingers. My sister don't like them. I don't know how she cannot like them, but yeah, these are really good. Next up are the chocolate brownie mini bites. Now, I have professed to the fact that I don't really like brownies that much, but I think this might change my mind because I did end up eating practically that whole tub. <laughs> Of brownies over the weekend they're really nice quite moist um and just like the perfect size and yeah i did actually really like these and now the shortbread fingers now shortbread is classic classic um and these ones i've had these before they're all buttery 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 crumbly just just crumbly enough yes i love them I love shortbread. I like these shortbread fingers. So, yeah, 10 out of 10. Okay, so I've tasted the goodies. So what are my general thoughts? I know not all afternoon teas have savouries because if you look at other afternoon teas online, not all of them have savouries, and I get it. But I feel if you're going to have an afternoon tea, you need to have savouries. And putting savouries, I think for a lot of people it is an issue because that means they'd have to put like a cool box or some kind of ice pack to keep the sandwiches cool but you can also do savies like quiche or like I don't know a sausage roll or like a spinach phyllo pastry thing which doesn't really need um, refrigeration so for me afternoon tea you have to have savoury so there's no savouries in this another point that my sister pointed out is a lot of the items were near expiry date, so the Victoria sponge, um, the sort of Swiss roll um, were quite near the expiry date, and even some others, they were expiring at the end of the month. So she thinks this is a way for Marks and Spencer to like, okay, we, we'll get we'll call, uh, get a box called Afternoon Selection Box, and we'll just put all the sort of things that come up to expiring and get rid of them. And maybe, but... It's very, very popular. Uh, when I checked today, um, it, had been, it had been ordered over 100 times in 48 hours. So it's quite a popular box. 
Um, I think it's really good. It's a really sort of good gift box and it's only £20, which for everything you get, if you was to buy all that individual amounts of spent soap, it would be more than £20. And I got it very quickly because I ordered it on the Thursday evening about six o'clock and I got it the next day, Friday at one in the afternoon. I did pay five pounds. So I think if you want a nominated day, you'd have to pay five pounds. Otherwise it's kind of delivered within two or three days. But I'm kind of glad, glad I did the next day because of the fact that a lot of the stuff was expiring. A couple of the items were expiring quite quickly. Um, So I'm just looking at my list. Um, so yeah, I think in general, it, it's, 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 it was okay. It's, it's a nice box. Um, it's a nice kind of gift box, I think. And I think it's, it's definitely well worth it. Just the fact there's no savings in it is a bit of a disappointment to me. But there you go, that's my review. Have you bought this box? Would you consider it? What would you put in this box or take out of it? Until next time, Kate lovers.